How you doing? Thanks for clicking on to the Tuesday edition of Hogan's US Outlook. A very, very quick, rough and ready glance at the next few months of the CFSV2 for the United States. And boy, oh boy, it does look as if, it, according to the, the model anyway, it looks as if it's going to be a pretty warm um, autumn and also winter, lo and behold. But of course, we all know that this model has its uh, faults and uh, its biases, so on and so forth. But uh, quite interesting, nonetheless, to see what it is hinting at for the autumn over all the rest of the fall season and indeed into the winter. But the month of October coming up, uh, I will be releasing the October forecast in the next uh, few days. Uh, and certainly the model indicates that it's going to be a warmer than normal October overall. Of course, we know that it has been a relatively cool summer particularly east of the Rockies, it was a cool August, and it was uh, up until now, it's been a cool September. We do have a bit of a change in that, um, with a wee bit of warmer air now starting to show up over the eastern half of the country, and we're also talking about, instead of it being uh, somewhat warmer than normal across the west, we're seeing the first snowfall, first significant snowfall over the northern Rockies. But this is October of the model, this is November, this is the month of December. It looks as if it's going to be a cooler than normal Pacific Northwest, but uh, substantially warmer than normal. So it would indicate that we've got uh, more trough in the west, ridge in the east. What does it happen to be shown? If we go to the 500 millibar heights, you can see that it is showing just that. Ridge in the eastern half of the country, stronger than normal Bermuda High, in fact, and a trough digging into the Pacific Northwest. How is the rest of those months uh, starting to show up here? In terms of the month of January, it looks as if it's uh, showing uh, considerably cooler than normal across the northwest, the northern plains, the central plains states, but warmer than normal from Texas up into the northeastern half of the country. Somewhat of a, a La Nina look to this, if you will. And of course, uh, there is uh, some pretty strong indications now that we could be talking about a La Nina winter which will be interesting uh, as well. Into the month of February, it looks as if we're going to get a bit of a turnaround here, warmer in the west, but cooler across the Great Lakes in the northeast, warmer than normal across the southeast. Again, indicative of a La Nina type pattern. In the month of March, uh, it looks like this here, a long way out, of course, I know that. But uh, colder across the north, warmer across the south which is uh, rather interesting as well. So overall, it looks as if the CFSV2 at least is indicating a, a warmer than normal uh, remainder of fall and also uh, a good start to the winter in terms of uh, lower heating builds, of course, if you've got a, 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 if you've got a warmer than normal winter, of course, uh, across the east. But it looks as if we could have a cold winter across the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of the country if this has any sort of merit but like i say it's a long way off we're only in the middle part of uh, september and i will continue to keep monitoring this as we go through the remainder of september and october we'll have of course the winter forecast on the first of november so still a wee while away still a lot of work and research to be done i haven't really if i'm being honest looked at the winter much uh, recently and uh, I will continue to kind of hold off until near the time. The reason being is that the winter forecast uh, has been um, disappointing, um, especially last winter was quite disappointing I felt uh, and so I want to take a bit more time to kind of study things before I kind of make any kind of call on the upcoming winter season. But it could go anyway, it could go colder, it could go warmer, We'll wait and see what happens. But hope you have a great Tuesday and I'll be back in the next few days, hopefully. Bye for now.